All right, hello everybody. This is Zach's through 99. Today you're going to be uh, having me show you how to take apart and clean, specifically the mouse wheel on the Logitech MX518 mouse. Now this uh, general idea might help you no matter what kind of mouse you have, but this particular mouse is about eight years old, I think, since I bought it. And it got to a point where the mouse buttons and everything like that still work great. It's been a great mouse, but it got to the point where the mouse wheel was not working. Uh, you know, scrolling windows or in games or whatever, weapon selections or whatever. And I really liked the mouse. I didn't want to go back to something, you know, basic like that. So I uh, wanted to go ahead and find out what was going on with the mouse wheel. And I figured it might be, you know, just too much gunk or it might need cleaning inside of it. Because like I say, I've heavily used this mouse for about eight years now. So I'm gonna show you guys how I did that. First thing you wanna do is I unplugged the mouse from my computer and I had to scratch off the, uh, you know, the little sticky like mouse feed or whatever. Uh, it's just a little black pad right here. And right here, I was able to use my fingernails and just peel it off. I have a little bit of some fingernails here. Uh, but if you don't have fingernails, you might just use like a, you know, a, a real thin flat screwdriver or a blade or, you know, something like that. So peel that off right there. And when you peel the mouse feet off at the very top, you're going to have two screws here. And then you have one down here in the bottom under what you peel off. So what you want to do is you want to use the right tool for the job on this. You want to use a small screwdriver. It's a Phillips head. So let's go ahead and take these out now. And then again, you got one down here at the very bottom. It's pretty deep in there, so you wanna make sure that's one other reason you wanna have a small screwdriver. Probably a number one head. I guess one is smaller than a two. Anyway, it's a real pretty small screwdriver. So once you got these three uh, screws, they're all the same size. Just put those in a safe place. And then you want to go ahead and make sure you keep your mouse upside down and you should be able to then get it apart. So what happens is it's just going to come apart right here. Shouldn't be too hard to take apart. And you're going to have a cord connected here. You can disconnect that cord if you want to. Now if your mouse buttons aren't working, if you're having problems with any of your like mouse buttons here, you'll want to be unscrewing this part, taking this assembly apart, and just making sure you clean any gunk out of there. And, but I didn't have to do that. Really the only problem I had was with my mouse wheel. And I've heavily used this mouse. So I wanna go ahead and show you guys, this is a little bit tricky here, and that's the main reason I'm showing this here. Now when I looked at this mouse wheel, I saw all kinds of gunk and everything up in here. Now to clean it up, what you want to do is you want to go ahead and pull this apart. This actually, this whole assembly slides out. Okay. And what you have is you have a little spring here that's going to give you tension. And you have a little spring here. So if you want to take the wheel off, the wheel does come apart and it actually slides off. So let me show you that and how, I, how that works. Okay, so for the spring here, just remember how the spring is going. It looks just like this as you put it on. This part up here, it's pointed in and towards the back, it's pointed out. Okay, so it kind of makes it upside down V. And then over here on the other side, you have a little spring mechanism 
and it comes up inside a little notch inside the wheel and this little part here connects up under here so if you uh, if you take a little screwdriver here you should be able to get this loose you want to make sure you're not doing too much force because you can bend these little springs and that's something you don't want to do all right guys once you got your whole uh, mouse wheel mechanism for this is again this is only for the logitech mx 518 i haven't taken apart any other uh mouses but you have your four parts here that you've taken apart you've cleaned it all uh, i actually need to clean this in uh water as well or a solution of like uh maybe you know soapy water vinegar isopropyl alcohol but I want to show you guys how this actually goes back together after you get in parts because it took me a while to figure this out after I got it apart. So you have this piece here. It has a hole right here where your mouse wheel is going to go in. And you want the mouse wheel with a hole is actually going to go and you have your little uh, shaft right here. This is actually going to go in towards this black plastic piece hole. So we're going to put that in there just like that. And it should look like this once you get those two assembled. Okay. And this mechanism, this whole piece here is actually going to go like this. This is how it's actually going to look as you put it in. And you're going to have this long piece here. This square section down here is actually going to go right inside, uh, right inside, right here right over that little blue plastic clear clear piece. So you're gonna put it in and you just have to get it right. And I'm trying to do this one handed while holding the camera. So if I could do this one handed while holding the camera, uh, you guys should be able to get this. And you see there, it's gonna slide in just like that. Okay, so now you have your mouse wheel here and it looks like that from the top. Now you have these little springs. Well, where do they go? Okay, well, let's go ahead and put this weird, really weird looking one on first. And what's going to happen is this little weird looking one is going to, if you look right here, let me get the light over here. Okay, so before I actually clean all my parts and get a Q-tip and clean all this up, I just want to go ahead and show you guys how this all goes back together. Uh, this little uh, spring here on this left side, as you look at it from the bottom to the top, this little hook is going to go into this little notch right in the wheel part right here. And then this little square part here is going to come down just like that. And it's going to need to hook right under that ridge. Now you can either try to use a screwdriver to do that. Or you can try your finger. It's going to be a little bit tricky because when you try to pop it under there, the other hook part is going to want to pop out. So you really want to use two hands here. Use one hand to hold the hook in and then another hand to pop this part right here in. Once you get it in like this, you're going to want to go ahead and slide it back so it doesn't pop out. So make sure you slide it back uh, with a screwdriver or other small tool. And then you can go ahead and check. Make sure your wheel's still working. You should feel the uh, little notches as you spin it. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go to the other side here. Yeah, we got a mess here. Look at all the hair and grime and stuff like that. But I just want to go ahead and show you guys how this works. Again, the spring here is going to look upside down like this, like an upside down V. And first thing, you want to hook the side near the bottom towards the inside of the mouse. Hook that side. The little hook going in goes in that slot right there. And my son's playing football in a game nearby, so... Go ahead and stick the uh, hole of the spring over the shaft, just like that. And then we just got to get this other end of the spring right in that little groove right there. And you're good to go. And once you get it hooked in that little notch right there, what that's going to do is that spring is what gives your uh, mouse wheel a button there. So it should work freely just like that. And once you get all your parts and your wheel and everything all cleaned up and back together, you're just going to go ahead and put the screws back in and uh, tighten those up. 
So that should help you guys fix or clean your mouse wheel on the MX518. Hopefully this has helped out. Be sure you leave your comments down below. Be sure you rate this video. This has been Zaxter99. Thanks so much for everybody. You guys have a great day.